Hi guys, it's your girl Kiro Chemist, and hello, Miss Roots for You Four Five. I finally made the wet slip spray recipe, and I am in love. My locks are feeling like just brand new. Brand new this is the best way to describe it. Uh, many of you have probably been like myself, you know, dealing with the summer heat. It's been you know warm everywhere. Sun's been out, and although I love hot weather um, it's not always the best thing for your hair and my hair had been feeling a little dry and crunchy so I finally got around to making this wet sip slip spray now let me give you a little background first on roots for you four five and then on the spray and how it came to be so roots for you four five I've mentioned her before when I made my coconut mud wash video um, it's a product that was a product similar to like the Terra Essentials um, mud shampoos that are out and I discovered the channel her channel then made the mud wash loved it and then fell in love with her channel her personality if you love homemade products do-it-yourself products whether it be hair products natural hair products um, beauty products things for the home then you need to discover her channel too if you have not already I promise you you will not regret it so that's my plug for Roots for You 4 5's channel. Check it out. I mean, she has some recipes on there that are just amazing. And the best part is she loves to save money. So everything is, like, economical and it's done as, as inexpensively as possible. So yay for her. Check out her channel. I will put the link below. Now, the wet slip spray that I'm talking about, how it came to be. So several months ago, I went to a hair expo and I purchased a spray from a vendor for about seven dollars for the bottle probably like a let's say maybe a 10 ounce bottle and I liked the spray I didn't like the smell but I liked the spray for the most part it was a, a moisturizing kind of mist it had a little bit of what we call slip to it so it had like some kind of gelatinous rest, uh, ingredient that provide like a little slip to the hair um, and it was moisturizing and it was kind of refreshing to my hair but when I went to their website just to kind of get an idea of you know how much would it cost me if I ordered it they didn't have the product listed on the website yeah so let me make a little sidebar side note situation if you are selling something whether it be jewelry clothing hair products beauty products shoes out the trunk of your car you need a website okay because when people find you and they find something they like in this day and age we want to be able to access it whenever we want if we like it we want to be able to buy it again and I can't always find you sitting on the corner with the shoes in the trunk of your car so I want to be able to reach you and I don't want to have to call your pager or call your cell phone or email and do all that I just want to go to a website and order it so you know keep those things in mind when you're selling stuff make yourself accessible other people are going to try to you know if I get something from you I like, I'm going to tell my friends. And my friends are going to say, well, how can I get it? And if they have to go through too many steps to get it, they're going to say, never mind. So you should have a website. Some kind of means. People are using their Facebook pages to post their items and, and have a, a means of, of somewhat of a website. Start there and then move it on to a, a formal website. People want to be able to have access to whatever they want and in this day and age with the internet we can already do that all right bar setting the sidebar aside so was in love with the spray didn't know how I was gonna get the spray again didn't want to go through all the steps to try to contact the vendor and all that fun stuff so I reached out to one of my YouTube buddies Miss Roots for you four five she makes products I said she probably already has a recipe because she has so many recipes for so much stuff she I already has a recipe well she didn't have a recipe when I messaged her she did not have a recipe but I sent her all the ingredients nonetheless because a lot of the things on the bottle were you know natural ingredients there were a few things that were chemical but you know more on a preservative level so I sent her information she responded right away she said you know what she said I will work on this and get back to you so I'm thinking this lady has her own channel she probably has a ton of other things she's already planning to do. At some point, she'll get to me. I know she would get to me because her personality is such that I believe she would. I just didn't know it would happen in, like, probably less than a two-week turnaround. So in less than about two weeks or thereabout, 
she had come up with the recipe, filmed a video, and posted it on YouTube. And I was like, wow. Now, it has taken me some time to actually sit down and make the spray. But today was the day. Like I said, my lights were feeling all kind of crunchy. And it just was not cute anymore. And I finally said, you know what, I'm finally going to make that spray today. I already had the rose petals and horsetail steeping in tea that I had um, made a while ago. We actually have that tea, the, is it the Rubos? R-O-O-I-B-O-S-T. Um, we have it at my, at my job. And I borrowed a cup a little bit. Okay, yes, for this, um, you know, to make this, this spray. And she used okra as part of the slip aspect. She makes a okra gel. Check out her channel, I'm telling you, check out her channel. If you like, you got some okra sitting around, you can make some gel for your hair, but check out her channel. I didn't have the okra, but I did have flax seeds and Irish moss, so I used that with my marshmallow root. I already had a lot of this stuff at my house, because I like to, I do, when I have time, I like to make my own products and mix and experiment. Um, aloe vera jello juice, glycerin, agave nectar, which I buy all the time now and use, um, vitamin E oil, uh, tea tree oil, rosemary oil, castor oil. I use my black castor oil. Um, I also added lavender oil, um, lemongrass oil, and a little peppermint oil. Love the scent that that created. Um, I will put the link below to her video showing you how to make it because I don't need to show you how to make it because she started a video. Check out her video. Check out her channel. Thank you Miss Roots 4U45. I love it. My locks are back to life again and I know I have you to thank. So, yeah, guys, I just wanted to pop on camera with all of that um, just to share this because, like I said, I'm sure many of you right now are trying to figure out how to get your hair to feel moisturized. And, you know, maybe you're looking in the stores for something, but if you are so inclined to make your own product, this may be something you want to check out. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.